Good morning, everyone. This is our last class for 2020. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to use your blue color book, the book that we used last week. We are going to do your paper one workbook um, module test two on page 85 to 95. And then we will try to do page two section A on page 96. Okay, so I want everyone to open your blue color book, workbook, and if you don't have the book, you may write your work in a test pad or your EX. Okay, let's go to the first one. Okay, so for the first one, uh, make sure you open your book on page 85. 85. Okay, so would you like to go to the party with? Okay, here, I want you to look at the answer. Who says why? Why? Uh, with some more. What? Uh, some more. Whom? Uh, is the same with who is? Sway. Um, but the difference between A and D is when we use who, uh, it's not specific. It can be anyone. It can be, there's no answer there. You don't find the answer in the question, in the sentence. For example, when we use whom, the one with the M behind D, uh, in this sentence, it will, this will be something like this. Uh, this will be a dialogue between two people. Maybe a boy and a girl talking, and then the boy asks, uh, whom would you like to go to the party with? And then the boy will say the name, Ali or Aina. There will be a specific name or specific he or she. There's an answer there. Then you can use the whom. But if there's no answer, or you just use the word who. So in this one, the first one, Number one, the answer is A. Who would you like to go to the party with? Okay. Number two, I'm happy because I get the, the, the results then last semester. Look at the word then here. We already learned about this. When you see the word then, the answer will have ER or more. So this one is an irregular form. You see the word good there, right? When we use good, we don't say good, gooder, or goodest. And then we don't say good, more good, or most good. So the answer here is C, better. Because the superlative and comparative form for good is good. And then the one with ER is better. And the one with EST is best. So... Uh, Ali is better than I, Aina. Ali, um, Zeming is better than Jinpei. Something like that. Two people, you use then. So you use better. Means Ali, he is better, means he's good than the other one. And then when you use best, you do something like, I am the best student in the class. I am the best mobile legend player in the class. Something like that. The best means you are number one okay so for number three john has a lot of friends he is a kind and helpful boy okay look at this one this is yuan ing so when we reason when we give reason the question is why why john has a lot of friends because he is kind and helpful boy usually we use because right but if you look at the answer A, so, so, um, I think la, so, so, B, but, uh, I sir, tan sir, C, N, um, N sir, I sir, and then D, since. Okay, if you look at the word, there's no because, right? Okay, so the answer here is D, since. Since sometimes when you, people ask you why, um, you can use the word since, because, or as, as. If you cannot find the word because, find the word since. If you cannot find the word since, find the word as. 
because all of these three things can you can use it to give reason the same with because okay okay for number four please look at the word please when you see the word please or do or don't or take the answer is the original verb so the answer is a okay for number five there's a helicopter flying the sea what is helicopter helicopter is the one with the big fan on the top right and then c when it is flying you are flying for number six my brother before he went into office for an interview okay so what is interview interview is like a test so whenever you see the word interview a test uh, an exam the answer here is hit the books hit the books means you are studying before you go to the test before you go to the interview you are studying so the answer here is hit the books broke a leg means good luck hit the sex eh the meaning is broke a leg means good luck so you use it for like um, broke a leg before you go to the to the interview means you are wishing him good luck for b hit the sack it means sleeping and c had cold feet means you are scared and then so the answer here is d okay let's let's do number seven okay any and his and her friends were in the library they had okay look at this word discussion it started with d pusa a e i o u and it's, it's the first time they say it so the answer should be a uh, on the project given their teacher who give the the project their teacher so given by their teacher they search for important information from the books in the library okay much some many a few take note here important information is uncountable so we cannot say many we cannot say much here it's not suitable we can use a lot of but since we cannot find the word a lot of here so the next best thing we can use is they search for some important information okay next number 10 the pupils found the story from germany dull okay here look at the instruction choose the word that has the opposite meaning Pu yang. the same meaning with dull is boring so the opposite meaning is interesting okay and then the punctuation look at number 11 a let's clean the classroom together a is wrong why look <coughs> look at this one let's let's here mean let us let us this one a is wrong b is wrong okay only c and d is correct okay let's look at c let's clean the classroom together no problem right how about d the problem is this one the classroom is task here so the answer here should be c okay next number 12 the durian season mr mutu were his children when they pick okay when we look at a story especially for a question like this one the first thing you need to do is you need to look you need to find out whether it's past tense or present tense so look at the word here the trees were his children went they pick and put them into the big soul the durian so all of this is past tense so for number one it is is already wrong i ah, is wrong so the answer is was or were which one is the answer the answer is was because it is only one so it was the durian season okay how about number 13 mr mutus durian tree were many durian were bare were bearing were born were bearing 
Okay, when we use is a worse word, we always have the word ing. So the answer is donkey for number 13. Number 14, his children went to his orchard to, okay, if you see the word to, um, whether it's past tense, present tense, or future tense, the answer will always be the original word. So we use the original, puke ichia s, puke ichia edit, cannot chia ing. So the answer is A, to help. And then the last one, they put the durian and put them into big, big what? What are these? Big boxes, big bags, big pelts. The answer is D, big baskets. These are baskets. Okay, next. Okay, you, we will look at this one later. Um, read the letter carefully and answer the question. Okay, for number one. The word endangered. Okay. Endangered here means in danger of becoming extinct. Extinct means, this one extinct means meoliao like the dinosaur we don't have dinosaur anymore we have we don't have dragons anymore endangered is like our sea turtle our orangutan our tiger our elephants all of that in danger of becoming extinct that's the meaning no longer found disappear on earth all these three a b c is the same meaning okay so number two Below are the activities that Valerie will do in Kota Kinabalu. Except, except means he didn't do. The rest he do. Okay, first one, sightseeing. First of all, I shall visit and take some photograph around the city. This means sightseeing. Sightseeing means you go around the city. So this is correct. A is correct. Tui. So he did. She did. Uh, eating seafood, mountain climbing. I will be climbing mountain in Kinabalu. This one is correct. The highest mountain. Enjoy the fresh and delicious seafood. So this is also correct. Uh, eh? All of these are correct. I just can't wait to see the proboscis monkey. Oh, okay. Look at here. After that, we will fly to Sandakan. Look at the word Sandakan. Here it say Kota Kinabalu. So, the only thing that is wrong here is this one because this is in Sandakan. So, the answer is D. Okay? The rest, although A, B, C, and D, she did all of it, but because the last one is in Sandakan. See, Sandakan, other city in Sabah. It's like you go to Johor, one you go to Johor Baru, and the other one you go to Kota Tinggi, or you go to Batu Pahat. It's a, a different place. Okay? So next one. The couple live in the countryside because... Once upon a time, they live a couple in Busan, Korea. They were poor and could not afford to live in the city. So they move, so they move to the countryside. This is the, so the reason here is, now how they move to the countryside? Why summer? The answer is they were poor and could not afford to live in the city. So they were all, this one is wrong. They were poor, this one is correct. Uh, so the answer is B. Okay, why? Why some did the religion rush back to their homes? Uh, their wife and heads, no one. Everyone rushed back to their homes. This is the answer. When it started to snow. So the answer is... They wanted to take shelter from the snow. Why they rush back? Because it's snow. They want to get back. They want to take shelter means they want to... So they they will they uh, if you go back, if they go back to the house then they will not get the snow lah there's no snow so the answer here is this one D okay next one 
the old man have to give away his own straw hat for the last tattoo because oh, feeling upset the old man woke home as he was shivering he felt he felt sorry for the statues as they were covered with snow therefore means so he covered the snow with the head one by one when he come to the sixth one he had no more heads in his hand on second thought he took his up and put it in the last statue okay so what is the reason the reason is he did not have enough heads Nikan, he had no more heads the reason is not he felt sorry when he come to the sixth statue this is the last one he had no more heads so the answer is he did not have enough heads who call heads okay okay for the next one uh, question 21 there are two things you need to remember the first one is you need to know which one is the first one and which one is the second one the one on the top is always the first one and then the one on the bottom is always the second one so for this question what should we do okay there are two keywords here bring an umbrella if you just write umbrella even though you know this is umbrella and then you know how to say here umbrella although it's wrong grammatically you can get one mark already but the correct answer should be something like this here bring this umbrella with you you can say bring you can say take okay so for the next one may do you know when is our national day okay the keyword is when is our national day national day is Madeka on 31st august if you just write 31st august you can get one mark but you will not get two marks so the answer the full one is it's on the 31st august every year or you can just say it's on the 31st august okay and then the last one hi hello i'm joe i come from thailand okay so this is the first time you meet him when you meet somebody for the first time you can say nice and meet basically it's nice to meet you if you just say nice to meet you can get one mark lah. the keyword here is meet okay okay let's go to the next one let's move on to question 23 question 23 read this passage then we'll find the answer okay okay the passenger pigeon is a the answer here is migratory bird migrate means they move around they fly around you can find this in the first paragraph t1 migrating flocks of passenger darken the skies for okay this one also the answer you can find in the in the t1 for days next passenger pigeon worship for sale the passenger pigeon was inhabited eastern and then the last one laid a single white egg in a nest of twigs okay now write down the physical appearance physical means what you can see with your eyes like big small uh, dark blue red all of that so here there are two answers the first one is big with pointed tails and the second one is have pinkish body and grayish blue head the male so if you only say they are big with pointed tail you only get one mark and the male have pinkish body and grayish blue head this one will get you two marks okay here e the natural enemies of the passenger pigeon were hawks owls weasels skunks and a boreal snake so all of these animals are natural enemy what's the meaning it means all the animals above are danger to them that is the meaning if you say it means the animals are danger you can get to mass already okay next question 24 there are three brands of cars here okay the first one is the most expensive what is the meaning of expensive means the number one which one is the expensive 
price. Look at the price. 50,000, 58,000, 50,000. Which one is the highest? It is QRS. So the answer is B, A, uh, Tiore. Okay, the second one. Which car is suitable for a couple? Couple means two people. Sitting capacity, 265. So the answer is Yoko. This is suitable for couple. But when you have a baby already, then you need to buy a car with at least a five passenger. Okay, family car, five and six. Next. From the table, these two cars which have the weight below 2,000 kg. Okay, so look at the weight. 1,000, 2,200, and 1,000. So there are two cars here. Below means under, not 2,000. So the answer is Yoko and Patran. You don't write the... You don't write the 1000 and 1700 here, you write the brand. Which two cars, not which two weight, okay? So you don't write 1000 and 1700. You don't write this one. You don't write 1000, you don't write this one, not this one. So you write Patron and Yoko. Next. Which car would you buy? Okay, this one, there's no right or wrong. Which car would you buy? You just write one car. Yoko, Tiore, Patran. You just write the name here, one mark. And then give your reason, you and Ing. Because it's cheap, because it's uh, interesting, because it's cool, it's new. All of that can. So for example, I would buy the Yoko. Or you can just say, I would buy Yoko. Because, Wesama, it is Malaysian product. Can, no need the end, we will shop, shop support our country product. Any reason can you can say something? I would buy the Yoko because I want to because it is only 1000 kg, it is lighter than the other car, it is cheaper than the other car. Any reason can okay. Next, Mr. Lu and his wife have four children. Which car should they buy? Okay, so how many people here? Four, his wife, five, and then Mr. Lee, six. So two wrong. Five wrong. So which one? Have six. So theory. They should buy the theory. They should buy theory even with some more. The theory is more suitable. Um, you can just say this one no need. You can just say they should buy theory because it has a sitting capacity of six passenger. It can fit six passenger. Can. Next one, section N, last one for today. This is about digital camera. So what should we do is, firstly, turn on the digital camera by, okay, press the on and off button. But remember, because we use the word by here, this one, the first word must have the word ing, by pressing the on and off button. Okay, the second one, you must, Display screen light up. So you must keep your hand steady. Next one. Okay, number three. You will see the picture you have just taken on the back display on camera. See this one? You can see the picture just taken on the. See the picture just taken on the. This is so the answer is this one. Next. You decide whether to decide to decide to. So the keyword I may keep or delete. Keep or delete the photo. The picture or the photo. And then the last one. View your video. Press the playback button. Press the record button. And you can press the playback buttons here. This one. So the answer is view your video. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. I hope to see you next year. Don't be naughty. Uh, that's it. Bye. Okay. Oh, sorry. We, we still have section B. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We still have section B. So let's go to section B. Okay to do this one list three effects 
of noise pollution. So what are the three effects? Uh, we have hearing loss, any three. You can just write any three. Okay, next. Noise pollution, definition. Noise pollution. Okay, so your friend is doing a project on pollution. Write email, tell her information of noise pollution. So what you can do just now, there are three things. So first one, you need to write the email. Email is very important. All make sure you know how to write. Sorry, make sure you know how to write. How to write this one at gmail.com. This is very important. Okay. Okay. Next one, the subject noise pollution. Dear your friend name Alice or anyone. See this one, him or her. So you can write a boy or a girl. Dear Alice. Search for share. I had searched for some information about noise pollution. I want to share with you. Okay, so this is def the definition. So you can say noise pollution is actually displacing human, animals, or machine of human or animal life. Causes the noise comes from many sources such as traffic and noise pollution will bring bad effect to human health such as hearing loss, high blood pressure and stress. We should look into the matter seriously. Okay, I will stop now. Hope that the information is useful to you. Your friend, then write your name. Okay. Later, if you if I'm too fast, you can just slow down the video or you can watch the PowerPoint. Uh, I will also upload the PowerPoint in the WhatsApp and Google Classroom. So no worry, you can find the answer there. Okay. The last one, section.